What is up, moviegoers out there? Matt Jarbo back with another episode of Total Running Time. Uh, so this kind of this episode will be concluding um, my attack on the Twilight franchise. That is until the end of next year when uh, Breaking Dawn Part One comes out, and I will be able to go. Fuck you, Twilight. You are officially halfway almost over yet. Uh, and then bash on that one as we go on. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, you guys heard me do uh, Twilight and then New Moon. And then this week I'm doing Twilight Saga <sighs> Eclipse. Uh, again, these are movies that I have seen. Um, and, you know, I catch a lot of shit from people because I've seen them. And my thought process is simply this. Or, well, my response is simply this. You know, you. People watch a lot of things regardless. They watch movies that uh, that you wouldn't, you know, normally see that they that they don't always tell you about. Like I know a lot of guys that like if you go to Two Buck Theaters page, uh, I asked, you know, hey, what's your guilty pleasure movie? You know, and my friend Anthony was like, the movie Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg. Some people like it, some people don't. But you know, it's like a guilty pleasure thing for me with Twilight. It's not guilty pleasure. It's like it's agonizing pain because it's like I'm watching this and I'm going, why? Like, really, why am I watching this? Why am I wasting part of my lifetime? I will never get back watching this just, you know, god-awful pile of crap uh, that somehow made it to celluloid and has been – it has unfortunately made a lot of money. Um, You know, money that I do hope to one day make with my own projects. Uh, But, you know, that's just – that's my take on it. And I know a lot of people love Twilight and I rag on it. And uh, I, I still think that no matter what, the series is crap. Uh, I'm hoping that it will end peacefully. Stephanie Meyer will just go away and we won't ever have to see anything from Kristen Stewart ever again. Uh, Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, yeah. But uh, so this movie came out um, June 30th, uh, 2010. Um, It's 124 minutes long. It was directed by David Slade, who did 30 Days of Night. Um, And it was written by Melissa Rosenberg. Uh, She wrote the – she's writing all the screenplays. Um, and uh, and and all that stuff. Uh, stars Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner, Bryce Dallas Howard replaces Rachel Lefebvre, Lefebvre, Lefe. I don't know. Um, and Billy Burke uh, and Dakota Fanning. Um, the movie actually only had a budget of like sixty-eight million, but it grossed six hundred and ninety-three million dollars. So uh, it just it grossed ten times the amount it cost to make, which is, I mean, by any. Stretch of the imagination is a gigantic success. And so with that, I am – hey, I give them credit. They they made a lot of money. Yeah, it's a piece of shit, but they, they made a lot of money on it. Um, and, uh, and you know what though? When it comes to the Twilight franchise, this is the only movie that I wanted to see. This is the only one that I really wanted uh, to be good. Uh, and, and the reason why is because I, I kind of dig the story. Like it's kind of cool. It's the you know a serial killer vampire and – other, you know, other werewolves are, are doing their, you know, they're, they're doing their stuff. Uh, the werewolves are with the vampires, and it just seems like a better idea. Instead of these, like, oh, I'm a vegetarian vampire. Well, I'm a werewolf. Oh, my God, we're living with the same chick. And then, and then you know, we're left going, none of us fucking care. Um, but so, yeah, so but I still, it just, it, it, it wasn't good. It was the only one I wanted to see, and it still sucked ass. Um, so we'll get into the, to the, to the storyline right now. So you guys can hear it. Uh, again, if you haven't seen... Uh, Twilight Saga Eclipse, this is going to contain major fucking spoilers. Come back later on uh, after you've seen it. Or if you don't care, which I'm assuming a lot of you who listen to the show just are not going to care. And I support that. Uh, then listen and laugh and and take solace in the fact that someone uh, made crap like this. And so if someone made crap like this popular, then if you have crap like this, you can make it popular too. So it's kind of a, a testament to what can be accomplished, even though it's not always good. Okay, so let's get on with it right now. Let's get on the storyline of Twilight Saga Eclipse. Here we go. Riley Byers is attacked and bitten by Victoria in order to begin creating an army of newborns set to destroy Bella Swan. Back in Forks, Edward Cullen and Bella discuss the complications of becoming an immortal vampire. At 18 years old, one year older than the age Edward was when he became a vampire, Bella expresses her aversion to the idea of marrying so young though Edward refuses to turn her until they are married. And she's had various human experiences she would otherwise miss. While Charlie Swan investigates the the disappearance of Riley, Edward suspects his disappearance was caused by the newborn vampires. Furthering his suspicions is the intrusion, intrusion of Riley into Bella's room. Although Edward fears for her safety, Bella insists that Jacob Black and the rest of the werewolf pack would never harm her, but Edward is still not convinced. 
Bella goes to La Push to see Jacob and returns home unharmed. During one of her visits, Jacob confesses that he is in love with Bella and forcefully kisses her. Mad, she punches him and breaks her hand, and Edward later threatens to break Jacob's jaw. Bella then revokes the invitations of Jacob and his packed members to her graduation party, but when Jacob apologizes for his behavior, she forgives him. Meanwhile, Alice sees a vision of, that the newborn army is attacking Forks led by Riley B., uh, Byers. Jacob, accompanied by Quill and Embry, overhear this, which leads to an alliance between the Cullens and the Wolf Pack. Later, the Cullens and the Wolves agreed to a meeting place and time to train and discuss strategy. During the training, Jasper explains to Bella that he was created by a vampire named Maria to control a newborn army. He hated his original existence and, upon meeting Alice, joined the Cullens with her. Bella sees the true bond between a mated vampire pair and begins to understand Jasper better. Despite her reluctance to marry, Bella realizes that spending eternity with Edward is more important to her than anything else and agrees to marry him. Edward and Bella camp up the mountains to hide, from, hide Bella from the bloodthirsty newborns. During the night, Bella overhears a conversation between Edward and Jacob in which they temporarily put aside their hatred towards each other. In the morning, Jacob overhears Edward and Bella discussing their engagement and becomes very upset. Before he can run off to get himself killed in the fight with the newborns, Bella desperately asks him to kiss her, and she realizes that she has fallen in love with him. Edward finds out about the kiss, but is not angry, as Bella says she loves him more than Jacob. Victoria eventually finds Bella's hiding spot, and Edward kills her while Seth kills her partner, Riley. The Cullens and the Quillette Wolves, meanwhile, destroy her army through Jacob, Though Jacob is injured, saving Lee Clearwater from a newborn. Several members of the Lilturi arrive to deal with the newborn army, and they also see that the Cullens are guarding the newborn, the Bree Tanner, who had refused to fight and suspended a Carl out. Jane tortures Bree to get information, then instructs Felix to kill her despite the Cullens' effort to spare her. When Jane notes that Caius will find it interesting that Bella is still human, Bella informs her that the day for her transformation has been set. Bella visits the injured Jacob to tell him that even though she is in love with him, she has chosen to be with Edward. Saddened by her choice, Jacob reluctantly agrees to stop trying to come between her and Edward. Bella and Edward go to their meadow where she tells him that she has decided to do things his way, get married, make love, and then be transformed into a vampire. She also explains that she never has been normal and never will be. And she's felt out of place her entire life. But when she's in Edward's world, she feels stronger and complete. At the end of the story, they decide that they need to tell Charlie about their engagement. That is the end. Thank fucking God. Okay, so what? seriously, what is up with this chick? What is up with Bella? Why is it that every single fucking guy in the series just wants to, like, bow down and, like, lick her feet? And then every girl just wants to, like, do her hair and, like, you know, I don't know, diddle her in the shower. I just, I don't get it. Because uh, her character is so boring and bland. It's just so stupid. And the movie wasn't even very good. It just, you know, it felt kind of slapped together. Slade, I think, tried his best. But let's face it, you know, 30 Days a Night had a great visual style. But it fell apart in the end. And this one does the exact same. Uh, so, you know how it is. I mean, granted, he was better than Chris White's. Who I thought kind of made more of like a romantic version of it than being more of a vampire thing. But I don't know. Maybe the plot lines differ and everything. I don't know. It's just, it's so ridiculous when you just think back, you know, I'm reading through this again and I'm going like, really? Really, you guys? I mean, come on. This is just absolutely god-awful ridiculous. And people flock to it. They love it. Girls, they flock to it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's Twilight Eclipse. And, again, if, if, you, if you like it and if I'm just a gigantic asshole, I want you to let me know because I really think that this is stupid. I really think that the entire plot line of a girl who – basically has no character flaws except that she's clumsy and that every guy wants her and every girl wants to be her but yet she's in love with a vampire who stalks her i mean he literally stalks her in the first book in the first movie he stalks her and then she finds out and he's like she's like oh okay whatever it's cool right but then you know i mean it's like something about this girl apparently is so utterly amazing and if you look at the what stephanie meyer has said about the character she's meant to be not described so any girl can kind of fall into the role and i guess it's kind of like an idea and a girls girls did even though bella was described and stephanie meyer is a fucking hypocrite but you know what though that's kind of how things are and 
And I'm just glad that that it's almost over. Uh, Summit is going to go for the ultimate, you know, rush to make or push to make the more the most money that they can, and they've obviously made billions of dollars on the franchise. So hey, everyone's fat, dumb, and happy. So good for them. Uh, anyway, this is Matt Jarbo uh, with uh, Total Running Time. Uh, you guys can find us uh, later on this week when we do an episode dedicated to one of my all-time favorite black comedies, um, Death to Smoochie, which is coming up it's at Friday morning. Um, and then you guys can also find us at facebook.com slash 2buctheater, 2B-U-C-K theater, uh, for daily uh, news updates, movies, um, reviews, uh, you know, and, and general movie chit-chat and stuff. It's a lot of stuff I put together. Uh, so, yeah, okay, well, we will see you guys uh, on Friday. Thanks for listening. Um, and uh, I, I'll talk to you guys later. This is Matt Jarbo. Bye. This is Matt Jarbo. Bye. This is Matt Jarbo.